What if you could take the style of any image and use just a text prompt to create something entirely new, while preserving its same style? Or take an image composition and reimagine it entirely? Or even more, blend the style of one image with the composition of another, creating a completely new and visually stunning masterpiece. Jal from Jal's AI Show and welcome back to another very exciting AI tutorial. Today we'll dive into the IP adapter advanced and the IP adapter style and composition nodes. We'll learn how to use them and we'll have fun generating stunning results. So without any further ado, let's get started. Here's the basic workflow I'm using. I'm running Realistic Vision XL, which is a Lightning SDXL checkpoint in a 832 by 1216 latent with only six steps, a CFG of two, and a DPM++ SD sampler, and a Keras scheduler. And quickly integrating the IP adapter nodes. I start with a unified loader, add the plus model, and then I bring the IP adapter advanced node. I add a load image node and connect the pipelines. Now let's switch the weight type to style transfer and let's use this smoke like female figure as a reference. In the prompt, I write something very simple, like a giraffe. Let's give it a try and see how the style transfer applies to the new image. It's almost what I had in mind, but not exactly. Let's give it a stronger character by increasing the weight and experimenting with different embed scaling. Now we're talking. Let's try this digital painting, and this time, let's type a little girl portrait. Or maybe a dog. As you see, it's working quite well. Let's try something completely different. For example, a car. Every style detail has been transferred. What about this artwork? Let's try a woman portrait. A lion from this one. Beautiful hair. Or simply a cat. So with just one reference image and a simple prompt, we've created something very impressive. The results are usually fascinating, but if they don't turn out as expected, try adjusting the weight, experiment with different embed scalings, or even switch to a different SDXL checkpoint. What if I want to capture only the composition of an image, but not its style? In the prompt, I'm writing a restaurant. Now I'm bypassing the IP adapter node using the shortcut Ctrl B to see what the model alone can do. Okay, this looks cool, but let me grab this reference image, re-enable the IP adapter, and select the composition weight type. Since this is a complex scene, I'm also adding a prep image for clip vision and increasing the sharpness a little bit. Now let's see what happens. As you can see, the image are not identical, but the composition has been transferred. The chairs, the windows, and the door, which are the main elements, are still there. Now what if I want an office interior? In this case, I get the same composition, but inside an office. And the composition transfer is working exactly as expected. I know what you're thinking. Now what if we blend the style from one image with the composition of another? So we'll add the IP adapter style and composition node. And we no longer need the old one. We add another load image. We reconnect the pipelines. And you will see that there are inputs for both style and composition. Let's use this image of Mona Lisa for the composition and an abstract painting for the style. 
You can also adjust the weight for each conditioning. I've set 1.5 for the style and 1.1 for the composition. In the prompt, I simply write painting of a woman and that's it. I have both the composition and the style in just one node without needing any additional models. The result is good, but I want more elements from the style image while keeping the Mona Lisa composition. To do that, I can activate the Expand Style option. This sends the style image through all the SDXL layers, except the composition one. Since we now have such strong conditioning, I'm going to lower the style weight to 0.6 and increase the composition weight to 2. To help the model, I can also add Mona Lisa to the prompt. Let's try it again, this time with a drawing. It's working perfectly. Now let me grab something more friendly, like the Story Night painting, and generate it again. And now we have an original Leonardo Van Gogh painting. And it's amazing how much control we have over both the style and the composition with just one IP adapter node. I think now it's time to head to the installation. Simply head to the link in the description and you'll find a workflow for IP adapter style transfer and another one for IP adapter style and composition transfer. To import the workflow, just click and drag inside ConfUI. The first time you may see some red nodes and a missing node box. To fix that, simply open ConfUI Manager then click on install missing custom nodes. Select all of them, click install and restart. And you're good to go. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and check out my Patreon to support the channel. See you in the next one.